Because unfortunately we can't have visitors in right now to visit our amazing exhibitions, I thought we would talk a little bit about some of our favorite pieces. Uh, so this is the largest piece in Across the Atlantic. This is Charles Groupet's Homeward Way uh, from around 1900. And so this is by far the biggest, although not the heaviest, uh, painting in this exhibition. Uh, so Charles Groupet grew up in Canada, um, moved to Rochester, New York when he was about 10 years old. Um, and in the late 19th century, he worked in the Hague School. So the Hague is a town in the Netherlands, kind of on the western coast. And the Hague School was a group of artists um, similar to the Impressionists and working at around the same time, the Hague School is associated with between 1860 and 1890, but they were really associated with gray, kind of smoky atmospheric effects, which you can really see in this painting. Um, this is one of my favorites because of all of the shimmery aspects to it. We have the really beautiful puddles in the mud street right here, and you can see the wonderful, wonderful reflections really beautiful stream of water coming through. And I love the way he does the light in the sky because although it's a cloudy day, it still feels bright and shimmery. Um, this was very typical of artists who worked in the Hague School. Um, Groupet was especially influenced by Anton Mauve, who was one of the principal Netherlandish artists who worked there. And you can see a lot of that smudginess and atmosphere in this work, especially in the branches of the trees that kind of blend into the sky. Um, and again, as I said, in the reflections that we see in the water. So a lot of his training comes through with this. This particular painting was very popular during its time. It was shown at the 1908 Salon and the Interna International Exhibition of Art in Berlin. So I hope you can appreciate it in all of its beautiful grandeur. It's so rare that I stand next to a painting that's taller than me. So we've been really enjoying having this one in the, in the museum. Thank you.